In this video, we see carnage as people crash on the last corner. And speaking of crashing, look who's back. It's Kimi Velocini at it again. Hello everyone and welcome back to a Beat the Meta video where we are in the BMW M3 GT. Yes, I can't believe I even tried this this week. So Beat the Meta, if you're not sure what it is, is in the description to check it out. But we're going to jump straight into the racing action here. Here's the Lamborghini up ahead. Goes for some avoiding action there. Avoids the contacts. And make sure you're subscribed if you want to stay in touch with all these Beat the Meta videos. I do try my best in these as we go into the right-hander. Slides up on the Porsche there. Was not expecting them to come across. So I do back out of it a little bit there to allow them to continue racing. But all action straight off the bat here in this Beat the Meta video. So if you want to join... Oh, hello. Where's that Porsche come <laughs> It's a sad from three years back. I assume that's a mistake as they let me go again. My word, that was a send and a half. Right, okay. Let's chill out here. It's been a chaotic start to the race. And this has been what this week has been like at this race, to be honest with you. When you start anywhere near the mid or back of the pack as the Porsche there gets all sorts of oversteer on the exit of the left hand and then in towards the right we go. We did gain that position in the end. Somebody's off. I think that's the same Porsche as we jump ahead on lap number two. So coming into the right hand of them, we're on board a Porsche... Not Porsche RCZ, it's a Peugeot RCZ Tidge. As we continue on through here, then in towards the right, we go. Oh, that Ferrari's came in and tapped him. Can they catch it? Can they catch it? They catch it, but they're off rally crossing right now as they come back on circuit. Slight contact there. I'm going to come on by. You can see that in the top right hand side then. Let's actually jump to that view then in a second. There we go. And we are ahead of that Peugeot RCZ. Then. So a chaotic start to this race. It really is at the moment. We're up into P12 then. The Audi and the Porsche with contact up ahead. I will talk about being better in a second as we go into this left-hander as we continue on out of there then. And calm beginning to renew here as we fast forward a little bit then. Heading through the right-hander, heading towards the hairpin then. What's going to happen here? Because I've obviously fast forward for a reason. I cannot remember for the size of me. Oh, hello. The Porsche sent it on the Ferrari then. Pushed him outside a little bit here as we continue on and through there. It's all side-by-side -side action. Porsche and Ferrari still contact then as we go into the right-hander. Elegant King versus Phantom Blue. And left out to dry the Porsche. We're going to go down the inside then. Here we go. Sending it in this BMW. Through we go. Up into P11 then. Another place gained as we go into this right-hander. Oh, hello. They just hit me into the back of me. I don't know why they did that, but... Hey, it is what it is then. We've got a Persia RCZ coming up behind me then. Please give me the bump draft. Please, 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 please. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, mate. Whack the indicators there to say thank you as we head towards turn number one. Then this is the Persia RCZ that went rally crossing earlier. Down the inside they send it. Do they get it stopped? Oh, and uh, there the Porsche leans on me now. So they like a bit of contact as that Spanish driver. They really do. I was changing camera there instead of flashing my lights, which was the plan there on the Porsche. But back down to P13. What a chaotic first race it is. It really is. As we advance then to lap number four. It's all starting to calm down a little bit now. Nobody's behind me really up ahead. It was still a long train of cars as we continue on through. Oh, hello. Oh, actually, goodbye actually to you there. As the RCZ gets it all sorts of wrong on the exit. Then so up into P12 we go as we go into this. Oh, hello. Somebody's off up ahead. What are they doing? Oh, please don't crash me. Well, you are off there. We've got a Ferrari off. I wonder if they were involved in the same accident. Actually, let's actually jump to that then. Let's have a look what happened to them. So we've got the please don't crash me here. Audi R8 then. The Spanish driver really pushing them wide there. Looking to come back then, but thinks better of it as we go through the right. Oh, they understeared off. They're in the gravel. They've got dirt on their tyres as they come into this right-hander. I'm not sure whether they aimed for them there. They're staying on throttle for quite a while. But no, they are off and going for a spin. And that Ferrari did understeer off. So it was an entirely different accident. Two different accidents on the same corner. We jump back to that corner on the final lap then. And we're going to finish in P10 in the end then. So a pretty crazy race, really. A pretty crazy race indeed. As you can see there, TRL Lightning winning in the GTR Nismo GT3 car. So yeah, beat the meta, of course. We're trying to take a non-meta car and beat the meta cars. That's the goal here. And the meta cars this week are the MR cars. You can see there I am starting P10 with a 42-2. And I really wish I did check the time trial pace of this car before doing this one because the time trial pace of this car is shocking. Now, one thing to say is actually the race pace is a slight bit closer to the Audi R8 than the time trial pace. Time trial pace it's nowhere near as we go into turn one. They're nearly rending the Audi R8 up ahead. We've got a Ferrari behind us in Pinhell there as we continue into this right hand. There's a race number two then, straight into the action. So we don't set a time for race number one. We always set a time then going forward and we try and qualify in the car that we're doing it with. It's not a case of qualifying in the Audi R8 and then doing it. Oh, the Ferrari nearly rending me there. 
It's not a case of, you know, doing it in the Mets car and then trying to win the race in the non-Mets car. That's just silly. It's trying to win in the car in all aspects of it. Now, the Audi R8 there into the back of the McLaren. That's not very friendly. Please wait up, mate. There you can see I am next to them. You don't wait up. You do get a five-second penalty. Should you wait it up? I would still say you should wait up there, to be honest. I go down the inside then. Are we going to get it done here? Oh, a still side-by-side -side action. I do go on through then in that BMW. It does look like a nice car, though, this car. It really does as we go into the right-hander. Has very good looks, this BMW M3 GT. So lap number two then, up ahead. There's more action going on in the distance. There are three wide around this right-hander. Contact happening absolutely everywhere then. As we head towards the left-hander then, going to slow the car. There's still contact going on. We have a front row seat, ladies and gentlemen. A front row seat indeed as we continue on out here. Can we capitalize on this though? Can we move up the grid as we head towards this left-hander? Now remember, in Beat the Meta, we do need at least one A-plus driver in the lobby for it to count as we continue on up here then and in towards the right-hander. And there is A-plus drivers in this. But of course, we have to win. That's the goal. We have to win as we continue on there. Bit of a bump draft as I had nowhere to go versus that Audi R8 as we head towards the left-hander then. Is or is a move going to be made here? Oh, hello. The Ferrari getting very close to me. Hits me up the exhaust there as the Audi R8 goes off there as well. The Ferrari does back off. I appreciate that pin hell as we go into the right-hander. We do have damage on the car though as we go into here and we're just slowly going through here with the dirt on the Audi R8 tyres. We slightly tap and then we are going to have to wait up for that car to continue on. It's just all getting a bit messy here, a bit clunky as we head towards this right hander. Then that damage still having an effect on the car here with that reduced downforce. Remember, this car has one massive wang on the back of it. It's huge. It's actually bigger than any of the other cars, I think, actually, in this class. Right, here we go. We're going to run on the Audi R8 then towards the right hand side. We go. The Ferrari's getting close, closer. Going for the move then as well. I can't move over anymore then. The Ferrari sends it down the inside. Do they get it stopped? They do just. Oh, there's only just enough room there for my car as we continue on. So we don't gain anything there. We gain a place and then lose it again to that Ferrari. The Ferrari gained too, so well played to you. Well, there, though, they have a penalty. They got a penalty for track limits. Very, very, very common on this track this week. As we head into the braking zone, then we are not going to get close enough. I was trying to go for a run out of this corner, but we can't really do it there. As we continue on through the left and the right then. Right, what's going to happen here? Because we're staying on this footage. I can't remember how I edited this. I can't even remember the race, to be honest with you. Which is always good. That's why I edit this one day and commentate on it on a completely different day. It's a surprise to me as well. Right, heading down in towards the right-hander then. Pinhal defends on the inside, which is a very common thing to do. As we go into the left, oh, all sorts of O's here then. So I'm going to try this move here. Very common move. You start out wider to try and get on the inside of the car in front then. For the right-hander coming up. Pinhal sees that. Goes defensive on the right hand side. Doesn't cover it fully though, but I don't go for it then as I try around the outside on this left on this right hander, sorry. This is the corner I overtook TRL Lightning twice. Yes, I've said it again. Hopefully you're not drinking every time you watch a Catalonia race and I say that, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna mention it as we go into this left hander then side by side with the Ferrari driver then as we continue on through here. Still side by side then. Very, very, very hard to go side by side on here, and I do back out of that. Mainly because it's only an accident if you do go side by side. Right, let's jump back on board then. The Ferrari goes defensive into this right-hander. We're going to try and get the run out of here then. This car does have good acceleration, actually, this BMW M3. It just struggles in corners, to be honest with you. As we head towards the left-hander at the hairpin then. We call it a hairpin. It's not fully a hairpin here as we continue on through. Oh, hello, the Porsche. Where's that Porsche come from? Out of nowhere. Not that quick. Suddenly quick into the corner. We're now on the defensive then in towards the right-hander. I didn't even spot that in the rearview mirror. As we continue on through here, we have defended that, thankfully, though. Still in P8 then. We've got two corners to go. Just defend this nicely. The understeer does play a part in these final corners. As we head towards the line then, that is a P8 in this car. You can see my face just wondering, what on earth I need to do here? You can see the A-plus drivers right there then. So, this car, I did mention at the start of this race, time trial-wise, does really struggle. Really does struggle indeed. But you can see that I'm down to a 141 six. Still one and a half seconds off the pace of the top, guys. Race number six, yes, race number six then, 
As we look up ahead, we've got Full Turtle and F1 Slayers, who goes very deep into the hairpin. We jump straight into this. If you are enjoying this video, you can see the graphic there. Do give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel. Stay in touch with all the latest content as we go into this right hand. F1 Slayers leaving that open there. I'm trying to get on the inside. Just can't quite do it. This car does understand the second you put the power down. So you've got to be careful if you are going on the inside then. But it doesn't quite work there then as we go in towards the final corner. Lap one. We are in the fight for the lead though. So maybe Peter Meta is on here. And we can get the victory then. But lap number three. We've just dropped off a little bit to the two guys up ahead. As we continue on through here. You can see my race pace is struggling. The oversteer of the car. Oh, big moment there. Big, big moment. Into the gravel we go. Do it on our tight end as we continue on through here. And we've got El Diablo Rojo behind us then. Looking down the inside in the Audi R8. The dirt on the tires really did compromise me. As we head towards turn number one. This was a chance I felt that I had to do beat the meta. And unfortunately, it is slipping away each and every lap at the moment. Lap number four then. We're down to P4 as well. Let's jump on board. F1 Slayers up ahead then in this lap. As we go into this left-hander, they're going to pull a drama. Spins round there and is off the circuit. And you can see there, I'm being harassed by an AMG GT then as F1 Slayers comes back on. So we are going to beat an A-plus driver here as we advance to the final lap. Then same corner. Let's hope we don't make that same mistake in towards the left we go. And no mistake here, but a bit of a mistake there for the Audi R8 driver up ahead then as we head in towards the right-hander. And they take a very, very tight line. It gives us a really massive run then as we head towards the left-hander. Here we go. Let's go to Chase Cam then. Let's see this side-by-side -side action with Salty GTR then. In towards the left we go. Good bit of racing action. Everyone leaving plenty of space for each other here then. But we do have the outside line. It could it be the inside for the right-hander. Are we going to get it done and dusted? Oh, it's so close. Beautiful racing here with you. There we go. Up into P2 we go. P2 in this race. I mean, I'll take it. I will take it, to be honest with you. Uh, remember, I've had a lot of P2s lately in Beat the Meta. I don't always win them. I stop racing them when it becomes fun. I will be honest with you. This did stop becoming fun very quickly because this car is very hard to drive here. It is a struggle. It's miles off the pace. Over a second, easily off the pace here. It really is. But we come home in P2, and I'm not going to give it up just yet. So I did a few more races, a few more, and let's jump to the next one then. Oh, my God. Goodness me. Kimi Velocini. Oh, God. Oh, what a stupid lobby. What a stupid lobby. Oh, man. Oh. So you can hear my thoughts there. What a stupid lobby because that driver is in the race. Let's jump to some more VOD action. I mean, there's a chance of winning this. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear. I'm hoping Kimi just wipes everybody out and I just go clean on by and win. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Oh, dear me, man. So, yeah, this was actually on the Saturday morning before the stream. So I was going to do a couple of these, see what happens here. But I was actually going to quit this race, to be honest. The second I see Kimmy's name, I always want to quit, to be honest, because I just can't be bothered racing them. And I'm not that fussed about DR or anything. I just want nice, clean, fun races. Anyway, it's turn at one. We go. Looks all fine so far with the top three. We do have a chance here as well. You may have seen my qualifying time, a 141 for. I'm pretty much at the limits of this car. There is a point two in there, but that is the absolute limit in this car. There is nothing more after that. I can't see it anyway. All right, in towards the right-hander we go then. And the Audi up ahead runs a little bit wide here. Kimmy's still racing fine and dandy here as we go into the left-hander as he sends it down the inside and decides to start pushing off that Audi R8. The other Audi R8's gone wide as well. So we're getting two positions in one corner. We've got Kimmy now up ahead. I'm obviously scared for my wits here because... I know Kimmy can't drive to save his life as we go round the outside. Tries to take me out, but doesn't. He misses. So at this moment in time, I am like, okay, I've got a chance here. Kimmy's going nuts, obviously, at this moment in time. We've already seen him push one driver off. Let's jump on board, Kimmy, because this is what I was expecting, okay? Kimmy to try and annihilate me here. So I'll push off the Audi R8 for whatever reason. And look at this. Goes for the takeout attempt. But misses! He misses! Yes! I was so happy he misses. You will see my live reaction in a short at some point this week, so do keep an eye out for it, of course. We jump to the final lap then. Kimmy was wiping everybody out for days. I'm not going to show all those wipeouts because it's just stupid. But we're in the lead. We got lucky. We go through the final corner, and here is my reaction. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, man, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it, take it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I was so nervous. I was so nervous. 
So yeah, I was so nervous in that race. When I got into the lead, I was so nervous. So I actually drove quite slowly. I made a couple of mistakes there, and that hurricane was catching me up quickly. There are some A-plus drivers in there, so it counts! It counts! But 10 races. I was so frustrated with this one this week. I'd put so much time into it. I'd put like six hours, five hours, four to six hours time trialing in to try and get that time improved. It was so difficult. But I decided that the BMW M6 GT3, after the car profile, needed a bit of a run out, to be honest with you. It's not a meta car here. It's, it's strong here, but it's not the meta car by any stretch of the imagination. And I thought, well, I was meant to do this on stream, to be honest with you. I thought, you know what? Let's go and do this. Let's do another beat the meta in another BMW. Let's get this job done then, as we've seen the car profile for this. So that's what I did. I set a lap, which was a 41-0. A 40 is possible in this car, but I wasn't going to spend too much time on it. I thought I'd just give it a couple of goes and see what would happen. So we're in this lobby. This is actually race two. You may have seen, not race one. Race one had everybody in. It was a flipping alien race, uh, which was unbelievable. And you can see there, that Audi R8 just made a mistake into the right-hander. Cost him a little bit of time there, through there, because you want to avoid the slippy stuff on the outside, otherwise you go for a spin. So I'm trying to jump away here. This car, very slippy here. But as I get to the line then, it's another win and another beat the meta done. Two in one for you there, folks. Two BMWs. Done and dusted. Happy days. It wasn't that exciting, so I didn't I really want to show you either of the races, to be honest with you. But it is beat the meta. And it is done as we jump back to that BMW M3 GT. I was so happy to get this one done. This car, very hard to drive. Definitely one of the weakest cars in the class. And you can see there, a first. I got a first. Now, it's at 19 votes. There may be some more that I've missed. I've got a week of comments to catch up on. I have been catching up. I was three weeks behind before. So some of these votes have changed. You can also see the M6 GT3 Sprint model there. But we did beat the meta. We got lucky. Sometimes you have to get lucky. Sometimes it's the lobby you end up in. It's still done. It's still dusted. I still put the effort in to show you what this car can do and what it can't do, which is cornering. Now, I did have to abuse some gears as well in this car in terms of the time trial. Very much a case of sometimes you want to drop a gear and make sure it rotates and then change gear and accelerate. Sometimes it was all about stability. The rear end on these BMWs seems to just fly out very quickly at this Catalonia circuit on the racing hard tyres. Now, in terms of the tables you'll see in the background, we've done all these beat the metas so far. They are in a profile. So sorry, they're in the playlist in the description. You can click it. You can check them out. You have lots of car profiles for these cars as well that you can check out. So looking at them in detail, their strengths, their weaknesses. And you can see there, 33 cars we've won now in group three with. And we've just got Oh, what's that? 15 to go. We've got a lot of seconds there. Most of these we will do on stream. I was meant to do the M6 on stream, but I kind of forgot. Um, and we did do the Audi R8 here, remember, as well. And we got into the rank 29 in the world in terms of time trial rank. So I know I've got fast pace here. So you're seeing the weakness of this BMW M3. Now, if you want any of these cars to be done next, make sure you put your votes in the comments. When you get a love heart, that vote's then counted. And I normally have a look at the next highest voted car. I've tried the silhouette many times. I'll see if it's viable. The GT3 looks like it's going to be next there for Nissan to the old car, which will be interesting to compare versus the new car. Some of the car profiles, of course, do need retests. Some of those will be coming very soon. But that is going to be it for me, folks. If you have enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest content. Don't you worry. Kimi will be reported once again and hopefully a ban to ensue with the dodgy driving because it was absolutely horrendous when I checked the replay. But GT Amiga, support me. You can use my code. Fanatech, there's a link in the description. A previous Beat the Meta is there for you and a previous car profile is there. If you want to see what the M6s are really like in terms of where they sit. Big thank you for watching and I hope to see you in another video or live stream again very soon.